Ooh. Ooh. Alright, let's check to see if we have any prayer requests. Let's check in the Discord. Nothing. And let's check in the Twitch. Nothing. But actually, we did actually get a prayer request. It may not be in the Twitch chat. It may not be in the Discord. Um, prayer request has been sent by Amanda, which y'all probably don't know. Um, it's this girl that I like and she, and she likes me back. So, um, she asked just to, uh, pray for us, make sure I read the prayer request, uh, correctly. Um... Yeah, just pray for God just to lead both of us. So, with that being said, uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Humbly gracious Father, Lord, I come to your throne, Lord. Lord, thank you for this wonderful and beautiful day that you have made us, Lord. To be able to gather, to be able to worship, to be able to praise you, and to be able to be in your presence, Lord. I am so thankful to be in your presence. As I lift up Amanda and me, if this is your will, then let it be done. If this is your will for us to be together, and not only just for us, but to continue to put us where you want us to be at, Lord. We are your disciple, and we are here to follow you, Lord. Um, and I pray for anybody that's listening in, whether it's on Discord or Twitch or in the future on YouTube. Hopefully they're actually getting something out of this series, Lord. And maybe they, they, they need to start fasting and praying more. Maybe that will be able to help to strengthen their relationship with you, Lord. So I hope that they, they'll be able to get it and to be able to get something out of this, Lord, to be able to apply to their lives, Lord. And I do all this holy Christian name. Amen. So, amen and amen. Welcome back to part two. Of the praying and fasting. Make sure people can in Discord can hear me. Cool, cool. Check, check, check beans. So last we went off is we just went we, we kind of just went over what fasting is. Um and essentially to kind of just recap it all, fasting does not get you into heaven, so don't think, oh goodness, I'm fasting. I should be good to go. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to it doesn't work like that. <laughs> um, fasting is growing your relationship deeper with God. And that fasting does not just mean fasting off of food. It really doesn't really mean that. So with with that with that being said, is that we're like like we fast because we want to be able to follow God. We want to be able to grow a relationship with God. We want to be able to do what He wants us to do. And prayer comes along with it. They come together like hand in hand. Like, uh, I'm not going to say pineapple pizza because that's not a good combination. But, um... Fried chicken, mashed potatoes. That sounds better than pineapple and pizza. So, you know, that works together. Same with praying and fasting. So, we're going to really, like, dive into, like, content of what this is going to mean. As I'm pulling up my notes, as I'm having trouble with my notes. I want to murder my notes. I do want to murder my notes. Okay. So, uh, the first thing that I mention is fasting. People usually think of fasting as food. Um, which is essentially kind of is. You know, Jesus went through the desert for 40 days. And, you know, even though the devil was there to tempt him, he sit there and still did that. There was no need for that. Jesus did not need to do that. But he set an example for us. I, like I said last, the, the part one, 
I probably can't go 40 days without food. I probably can't even go a day one without food. I probably can't even go 12 hours without food. Maybe 12 hours. Maybe, maybe, maybe 12 hours. But I can't. I certainly can't go 40 days without food. Like, I definitely can't do that. I mean, I, I can't. But fasting just doesn't mean food. And this is where this is where people starts to take fasting in that way. You know, fasting is growing your relationship with God. You know, you want to improve it. And sometimes we have these strongholds that that get that that gets in the way of us to be able to grow. Like instead of doing this, we can go to God and pray and sit there and grow and read his word. You know, people say, oh, I don't have time in the day. You know, I got work. I got school. You know, TV. If I want to eat and watch TV. Like, if you have time to text, if you have time to watch TV, then obviously you have time to pray and sit down and read your word. Read God's word. That is what fasting really is. It's not just going 40 days without food. Remember, remember in Exodus, let's take Moses for example. Moses. And you might think, and I don't think he fast. Well, do you remember the time where he, had, where he went 40 days and 40 nights without drinking? Hmm. And then y'all probably gonna say, "Well, what verse is that?" Well, if someone wants to read a verse for me in VC, as I pull it up for you, if someone wants to read for Ex Exodus chapter thirty-four, verses twenty twenty to twenty-eight, I believe. Did I spell Exodus right? Yeah, I did. Alright, so can someone read that for me? Jasper or Nugget that's in the VC right now. Would y'all mind reading that? Sure, why not? Um, my apologies if I do cut out my Wi-Fi. It's been pretty bad. Then get good. Okay, so, um, you know what? <laughs> this is, um... <laughs> saying it okay exodus chapter 34 verse 20 through 28 and this is in the king james version uh all right so yes but uh all right so you know what yeah yeah uh, yeah is there something wrong king james <laughs> i know i know you're probably no, no, looking no. at it i, it, I know you're probably hard. looking at it <laughs> We can read it I don't version. mind reading it. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just uh, I don't mind reading it. It's just that you know. Well, I, I'm just okay. So for everyone viewing this, this is the King James version that I'm going to read from. So you know, uh, don't 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 have a problem with me. So starting from verse twentieth. But the first sling of an ass. Thou Ooh, thou he said a cuss word. Ooh. It's in the Bible. Ooh. I know. I know it's a bad word, but it's in listen, the listen, Bible. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. It's actually the scientific word for donkey, so he's good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I guess it just depends on like what context you use it as. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it is. Just It is. I just wanted to mess with you, Jasper. Keep going. I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. okay. Um, starting over to but the first sling of an ass, thou shalt thou ah thou shalt redeem. Now see, y'all got me messing up with a lamb. And if thou redeem him not, then shall thou break his neck. All the first of thy sons thou shalt redeem, and none shall appear before me empty. Six days thou shalt work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. Or shalt, I, I don't know. Um, in earring time and in harvest, thou shalt rest. 
And thou shalt observe the feast of weeks, of the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the feast of ingathering at the year's end. Thrice in the year thou shalt thou shall all your men children appear before the Lord God, the God of Israel. I'm sorry, I can't speak, but bear with me. For I will cast out the nations before thee, and enlarge thy borders. Neither shall any man desire thy land, when thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord thy God thrice in the year. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leaven, I think it is, or leaven. Neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of the Passover be left unto the morning. Okay, the okay, let me, let me look down. I want you to stop there. I want you to skip all the way to 28, because I just realized that I, I kind of messed up in my notes. Go, go straight to okay. 28. <laughs> You're all good. Okay, so 28 says, and, and he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. He, di he did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. So if y'all don't believe me that he went 40 days and 40 nights, take God's word for it. Make sure that I'm not sitting here speaking blasphemy. So, you know, he was there for he didn't drink nor eat bread. And he went 40 days without it. I probably can't. Like I said, I, I, I you know, I, I, I need something, you know? I need something. <laughs> As I drink that water. <laughs> oh, so that was you drinking water. Okay. <laughs> Talking about fasting See? and I'm drinking water on stream. <laughs> So basically, Moses went up the mountain, and he did not, you know, drink for forty days and for forty nights. You know, he sat there and wrote uh, wrote on the Ten Commandments, which we have today. You know, to be able to follow those Ten Commandments. Um. Now, um, for y'all, I'm not saying for y'all to fast for forty days and for forty nights. Okay. Um, that is not what I'm recommending you to do. So don't take that in the way saying like, oh no, he's saying there's a bad echo, babe. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, but um, I don't know how to fix that unless it's because they're talking, unless they have their mics on. I can definitely. I don't hear an echo. You're not even. You're not even watch, watching the. You're not even watching the stream. You can't say nothing. What? Hey, I, I thought you were talking about in Discord. I no, and then and then Twitch chat. Um. Oh. Okay. So, okay. Like, okay. we could probably literally die if we went forty days without drinking or eating. Like, I'll be honest with you. Maybe you know. 21 days but um it's only when he was reading then i might use the obs to cut down something and not make it well um i'm gonna cut down my desktop <laughs> shut up um but i'm not telling y'all to go 40 days you know during this month of March, I decided to do this series for a reason because there's people that will probably eat a big fast feast and sit there and want to pray and fast. Um, like, and when you go that long, you probably need to go to a doctor and be like, hey doctor, I went 40 days without drinking or eating and I think there's something wrong with my stomach. Doctor, please help me. When you should, and I told you specifically, and people's gonna say like, "Oh, Hylian said it." He said I can do it. Definitely, one hundred percent. Hylian, Hylian said I can do it. Obviously, I did not. I didn't say to. I did not recommend it. Jeez. So it's it's literally impossible to do that. But with everything God through God, everything is possible. You know. Like, you can go 40 days of fasting, yes, but probably not off of food. 
and this is where people this is this is what I'm trying to explain. You can go four days of fasting. And if you do an absolute fast of any kind, you know, make sure that you are doing it for the right reasons and not for the wrong reasons, like I explained it in part one. You know, make sure that that you do this. And also the last the part one, fasting is not recommended. It's not, it, well, it's recommended, but it's not a commandment. You're not, you do not have to fast. You are not forced to fast. But fasting, basically, kind of like what I said, I'll repeat it here, is shifting our focus on our physical needs to our spiritual needs. To be able to dive deeper in our relationship with God. And that is a great way, and like I said, you... Like, if you're going through a stronghold, like I said, you know, let's say you're really struggling with, um, I don't know. What other things can be struggle? Video games. Let's say you play video games too much. Um, not saying me, um, 100%. Um, but let's say you're playing video games and you might be playing video games way too much than you're focusing on God. You know, you probably really love that game. You probably, you know, you know, love that game. And you want to spend as much time to be able to, you know, get whatever that game has to offer. You know. But sometimes our relationship with God is much more better than that. And that is the reality of things. And fasting is um, a practice. You know, it's not it's not easy to fast, but it does help out. You know. And like I said, if you do it for food, try to be careful and you know and don't do it for a long period of time. Like this is no joke. Like, you're basically killing yourself. You're committing suicide. When your body needs food, your body needs liquid. Think about it. Like, there, you probably even see it maybe in stories, even throughout this world that we live in, that people have seen that. I'm not, I don't think I've seen one, as I know, but I hear stories. That people will sit there and say, like, I'm, I'm just not going to eat. And then you'll see that they start to feel weak. You'll see that they'll start to not really be able to think properly or even function. You know? And like I said, the, the thing with fasting, you got, you also, it's also praying. Praying is that communication to God. You know, if you, if God, if you really feel God is leading you to do an absolute fast, like of food then that's uh, you just be all I can say is really be careful like I said this is this is a sticky situation you know like Moses went 40 40 days and 40 nights to produce the Ten Commandments you know I don't know if he went, consulted his doctor at that time, you know, during those 40 days. Be like, can you imagine Moses just coming through the office going, Doctor, I, 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 I can't drink, I can't eat. I'm trying to write these Ten Commandments. I'm like halfway there. Man, I just, uh, uh, is, is, is that a pie? Is that an apple pie that's sitting on your counter? Can I, can I, can I have, no, no I can't, I, I'm just going to leave. Um, sorry for that. I, I just, I'm just, I haven't been really feeling well. My mind's going all over the place. Um, trying to write these Ten Commandments. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to do. So, that, and then another thing, um, also someone told me, um, which I didn't include in the first part, which I feel like I should have included in the first part, um, was the Danielle Fast. Now, do any of y'all remember the Danielle Fast? And be honest.
Does nobody remember the Daniel fasting? You're talking about Daniel? Yes. Because that's what some people use to help with their fasting. You, you never... No, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. For some reason, I heard Danielle instead of like, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just had to. All right, for for Jasper, which I don't think he knows. So let me just pull up scripture for him, since he doesn't even know. Wow, good work. Ah. Now, I was like, I shouldn't be talking. I don't know either. <laughs> well, well, we're gonna start now. We're gonna start today. Danielle fasting. Here we go. Yay. So, I'm so confused. You pull up the say. Oh wait, no, that's chapter one. Then you have chapter ten. Wow, you can't read either. Hey, I, I, I just. Have <laughs> <laughs> just. just you know, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, I just had to look at the at the number of the chapter just like very closely. Because it was just like if I if I'm not mistaken, then you just literally pulled up the very same chapter in the very same verse except for one is at twelve and then the other's twelve. 13 but then i had to look closely at the chapter that you pulled up so. yeah are you gonna yeah. are you gonna read it sure okay all right so um, um i'm sorry i'm sorry hold on okay oh, yeah, you're all good were you gonna say something no my, my loser just jumped at the glass wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i get you all right, all right so. okay I'm sorry, continue. Uh, You're all good. You're all good. All right. So, Daniel chat. Scum. <laughs> okay, so Daniel chapter 1, uh, verse 12, says, uh, Prove thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us pulse to eat and water to drink. Uh, chapter 10, uh, verse 12 through 13 says, Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel. For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and a chasten thyself for thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. These are Danielle fasting. There is, you know, if y'all want to even look, there's like a bunch of things. Like, if you just go to Google, just Google. And it is a popular, like, Danielle fasting is a really popular thing. Um, and it's, it's, it's practicing all that that I have said. Well, the first is that you read. Daniel fast is something that is not abstaining from food altogether, but you're abstaining from a certain types of food. When God said, please test, you know, your service for 10 days, gives us nothing but vegetables. I might die in 10 days if I just get vegetables and no meat. I mean, I, I will definitely uh, die if I don't, like, if I don't, if I don't get, like, meat in my body... I will surely, like, die. Like, I will just die, you know? Like, I, I, I don't know if I can last, you know? Oh, we're fasting. Let me stop eating that piece of chicken. I know I heard something. <laughs> 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 oh, no, mercy. <laughs> but um basically giving us nothing to eat but vegetables and just water and sometimes we can really last on that um 
But if they're just going to stop like eating completely all together, then that's not a standard fast. Because you may not really live. I mean, there's people out there that goes through health conditions. They may really struggle. It may not really be able to, you know, fast in this way. You know, let's say, you know, they have trouble eating. Or they can't move their arms and need someone to, like, feed them or something. You know, or, you know, you have a low, low blood sugar. You know, it's it's not easy to be able to do that. But y'all can all research Daniel Fasting. Like, just look it up. It is, like, I don't have all the things together to be able to, wow, Jasper, thanks. Um, I don't have any, all the material to. Uh, I can't believe just abandoned us like that. I know. What a butthole. Maybe, maybe his internet just eated itself. I don't know. He's, he's no, 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 no. He's been he's been leaving like that. That's what he did last time. He only been here for like thirty minutes. Um, but Danielle is just say, mm -hmm. just saying, you know, certain like certain types of vegetables, certain types of fruits. You know, it's a great fast. You know, don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with Danielle fasting. Okay, don't take that into into that because it has it, it approved a green light you know it's a great fast you know but it can be extreme because like 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 let's like, like let me read, let me read Daniel 1 12 again prove thy servants I beseech thee ten ten days let them give a pulse to eat and water to drink So when it comes to fasting, you're basically, it, like I said, it's not food. You're sacrificing a thing that you're doing. You're taking your mind off of that physical need, you know, and you want to be able to focus on your spiritual need. And people may not see fasting as that, which is, it, it is sad to an extent. Like, like sacrificing, like what I was saying. Jesus did a great example of the sacrifice. And you probably at least know which sacrifice I'm talking about. When he was dying on the cross for all of us. Who shed our blood. Who paid the way for us. To be able. So we can be able to gain that relationship with him. You know. Daniel fasting may not be the greatest for everybody on this earth. You know, if you're a vegetarian, good. Daniel Fast is for, for you. But if you need, like, meat, like, big meaty pieces, then then this is not, probably not going to be for you. Like, but like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't mean food. I know I'm going into this, and I know I keep saying that, you know, food, food, food. But people just look at it for food. Like, throughout... This whole month, I set up to do praying and fasting. 31 days. I mean, there's people that would do like 21 days, like the, like, Danielle fasting, you know. The 21 days. But it's not going to be that easy. It is not, I'm not saying that fasting is the easiest thing in the world. But if you don't plan it out, if you don't attempt to try, then you can't pull it off. Like, you know, I need, like, like for me, you know, I probably can't fast off of food. More than likely, or probably not anybody can, you know, to be honest. Because you need food to live. You need water to live. You know, you don't need Coke to live. You don't need Dr. Pepper. And no, I was not talking about cocaine. I was talking about Coca-Cola. So, no, <laughs> so, you know, you don't really need those things. I mean, they're nice. You know, like potato chips. They're nice. But you can sacrifice potato chips. 
It's not a need. It's not a, a necessity. I mean, yes, it's great to snack on, especially if you're playing a game. You know, great to snack on. But if you're really feeling weak in your relationship with God, and you feel like you may not be living it all up to Him, then you might need to fast. So you'll be able to improve in, our, in your weak area. I mean, we all have weak areas. There's something that we're really weak in, and the devil just loves to come in and say, Woof! What are you going to do now? Get good. And, and basically, we do have to get good. I mean, that's the... Anything, <laughs> the devil's kind of like a scrolling camper. Yep. You're good. And she's like, all right, well, no, I'm going to here, here, here. Whenever they go in there, boom, got him. But yeah, he just like like that is that is fasting. It, it improves on you, and not only not only does it Im like improve your weakness, but it also improves your walk with God. It also improved on your spirituality, spirit spirituality. Hey, Matthew. Hey. But um, like I, like I said, with fasting, if you cannot do the Daniel fast, like I said, it's not a fast for everybody. I mean, like I said, I I need meat. I mean, I know I kept saying that, but I need meat. I need meat. I, I need meat. I, I, I don't need vegetables. I mean, I do need vegetables, but I need meat. <laughs> but um, but fasting. The thing that people do is that they sit there and say fasting is only food. That's it. That that's it. You can't fast off of video games. You can't fast off anything. It has to be food, because every time in the Bible it mentions about it, it's always about food. Always one hundred percent about the food, and it has to be about the food. You know, all the times, and people just take that and not really. Going into another direction, like, like that, like the definition of fasting is improve your spirituality, walk with Christ, and deepen the relationship. It does not mean food, food, food. Like just because you're fasting off of food, doesn't mean you know everything. You know, I mean, yes, you're you're finding time to spend more with God. You know, instead of, you know, filling up that empty stomach of yours, which is, you know, great and all. But like I said, there's people out here that has health issues that, you know, need medications, you know, and, and can't do this way of fasting. And I hate when people just sit there and be like, oh, I'm just going to fast off of food. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. I mean, I don't have to sacrifice for anybody, no. I mean, all it says is about, you know, that and that and that. But when you look at Danielle, like I said, it's, it's like, I'm just going to go, like, I haven't researched everything on the Danielle fasting. But um, there's, like, a website, like, where it says, you know, you know, what to eat, you know, what to avoid, like, in, in this Danielle fast, you got vegetables fresh, frozen, canned, or dried, all vegetables including potatoes, squashes, as long as they are not fried, so do not fry your vegetables, which is terrible, alright, fruits, fresh, frozen, canned, or dried, all fruits, And then you have whole grains, which is rice, 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 and rice. Fine, fine. There's corn as well. There's wheat. There's popcorn. There's there's rice. I'm I'm saying that because I love rice, you know. And then foods to avoid. And this is probably something I probably can't do. Meat, seafood. Milk, cheese, chips, fries, like crackers, like 
Tea. Sweet tea. Or how about coffee? Starbucks coffee. How many of us Christians can last and can go a day in the morning without coffee? That's why our Daniel fasting. I mean, I don't drink coffee myself, but in the Danielle fasting, yeah. But like I said, it doesn't just mean food. I mean, this is a great way to, you know, improve and lose weight at the same time. You know, to be able to eat less and stuff like that. But that's not the importance of fasting. It is it's it's just not. You know, especially if you're going through conditions in your life that may never let you to fast from food, like ever in your life. I can still tell you that God still loves you. He is still you're still gonna make it to heaven. And God is still pleased with you. God's heart is broken for you, not because you can't fast, but because you have a sickness and and want to ch and I want to challenge you. If you are here and you are medically fasting, medically fasting is not in your life. I can tell that there's nothing wrong with your walking with Jesus. God still cares for you. He still loves for you. You know, he does everything for us. Like I said, it doesn't have to mean, you know, food and everything. But God is still pleased with you. Like I said, fasting God does not command you to fast. Fasting does not get you into heaven. I'm sorry to say that. It doesn't. Like God wants you to be healthy. And if you're doing a fast that's not benefiting you or not really helping you, especially if you're really struggling, then it will really destroy your health. And it could be really foolish. And you seek, and where do you seek wisdom from? God. And if you want to do that fast, like I said, go go to a doctor at least. See, like what what can work out? What can I sacrifice? You know. You know, you're at least trying to take that step if you if you need to fast. But then there's people like I mentioned earlier, coffee, 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 coffee. First thing in the morning, what do you got to do? Coffee. You, you, you just got to get that coffee. Because us humans, humans apparently can't function without coffee. I won't tell you right now. From my point of view, from where I stand on coffee. I do not drink coffee, period. The last time I drank it, it was awful and it was nasty and it was terrible. I did not enjoy it. It, it. it wasn't a, you know, Starbucks coffee or any of that. But what I need in the morning is at least caffeine because it makes, you know, there's some things that makes you, like, at least wired, you know, to be able to do that. And people are going to be like, hey, can you fast off of coffee? I mean, according to Danielle fasting, and people are going to be like, nope. But sometimes, you know, we can get the power of the Holy Spirit within us to give us the strength to be able to fast. Coffee is not everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for people that loves coffee, who loves it to the ends of the world. But it's not more powerful than in your home than in the power of the Holy Spirit. That can get you through your days and mornings without the coffee. And probably going to sound like, oh my gosh, he's speaking blasphemy. But I need that coffee, man. Oh my gosh. If you have, the thing is that if you have the mindset of God. If you have, if you're actually fasting. If you're really trying to, you know, shift. From your physical needs to your spiritual needs. You're trying to do more for God. You're reaching out to Him. You're putting your faith. You're putting your trust in Him. And I encourage you. For everybody that's listening in. 
Take some time to pray. Think about your life. You know, if you're really struggling through, like, a job, you know, pray for the energy. Like, if you had a bad time sleeping, and you're just like, boy, that coffee. But you're trying to fast and not have that coffee. But God can still, but God still, you're not going to lose God. He's not going to hate you. And, it, it, like, you can drink coffee if you want to. Like, you can if you want to. But I'm saying it's part of praying and fasting, especially if you're doing, trying to do a Danielle fasting. Like for me, I do caffeine. You know, that's how I get up in the mornings. So let's 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 switch this around let's switch this around a little bit. I for me to get up in the mornings is stuff like this. Or Dr. Pepper. You know, that helps me to be able to kind of function, you know, a bit and try to do stuff. And it, it might be difficult. Like I said, fasting is not the easiest thing in the world. Because you might be so used to getting up in the morning, and the first thing you do is get a drink from the fridge, and it's probably having caffeine. But you know, through God, every, not everything is possible. And that God can do so much more for us. I, I think if we can fast, that we will be able to trust in God to get us through it. And, and you got to be able to think about fasting. You know, let's think about how do we fast? How do I grasp that question? You know, what are you fasting from? And more about, like, what are you fasting for? So think about those two questions when you are fasting. What are you fasting from and what are you fasting for? Just think about that. You know, fasting is, is less about what you're stopping and more about what you're going to begin. It's not just about what I'm fasting from. It's more so about what I'm fasting for. And so let me tell you, in the Bible, yes, there's evidence all over. And you see people fasting. And it was directly from food. But I think that things work a little bit more differently. You know, especially back then. Because there was no electronics. You know. There was no video games. I don't know how I could survive without video games. I mean. Anyway, uh, back to the sermon. <laughs> you know, they didn't have all this technology back in the day. So that's why I always mention food. If you really think about it, if you really dig deep into the Bible, that's why it mentions food. And that fasting was like only food. And that if you're not fasting food, then you probably was fasting something else. Then if you weren't fasting, you were just stopping something else. But can I be honest that especially, you know, in preparation for this series and trying to do research and trying to learn and grow and pray and fast and be able to teach this to y'all. Like, I have been learning so much through this pro progress, and I'm still learning. You know, like we saw Danielle, his fasting, Moses, 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus with the desert. It's not like, oh, I gotta go to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, you want to go Chick Fil A? Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? All right, all right, all right. So it's on the menu here. Well, what do you want again? Oh, you yeah, okay? No pickles? Okay, 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 okay. What do you want in the back? Yeah. Okay. 
Alright, 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 alright. Uh, let us look at the menu for a few minutes, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. And someone could be like, are, are we supposed to be fasting? Be like, it's fine, it's just Chick-fil-A. They close a Sunday, it's fine. I gotta look at this menu, though. I'm, I'm just, yeah. Mm. My stomach is saying yes to this. Mm, yeah. But you can fast. It's about that physical sacrifice. Yeah, that's what it really comes down to. Like, yes, it's going to be, you know, difficult. You know, and let's, let's take off the mind for food for a second, because I know I keep saying that it's not on food. That it's, it's fasting is not just food. Like I said, you can fast from video games. You can fast from drinking and not just eating, period. You can fast from using the internet, using, like, maybe you use your phone too much. Maybe you're constantly, like, uh, like, always on your phone, like, constantly, constantly. And maybe it's telling you, saying, like, maybe to take a step back and be like, all right, maybe I do need to fast. Like, even when we get in, like, when we were kids, you know, especially for me, I'm like, like, like this is, this is a story coming from me. Okay. Um, I would get grounded. All right. There will be times where I screw up in school and get grounded. You know what that means? No PlayStation. No. No. This is going out. Nope. And what in 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 reality, if you look at it, that's fasting. Even though you you spend time on it and you're grounded and you probably hate it for the time period, but you're also the sacrifice is there. Like, for me, I play video games, you know, sometimes, you know, I do want to get back into streaming on my, you know, my own, on my own Twitch, you know, streaming the games that I love to do, but I've just been so busy with, you know, school, you know, either doing other stuff, and I just, it, it gets too much, but there's times where I sit there and play a video game, or even when you spent watching YouTube, I'm pretty sure a lot of us have spent many multiple hours on YouTube because there is so much you can search for there's no subscription fee there's nothing you can just go and be like all right YouTube let's see link to the past randomizer tournament yes all right gotta practice all right yeah 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 like if you have time to be able to do that then you have time to be able to grow in your relationship with God because there's people that will sit there, like I said, almost at the beginning, that will sit there and have excuses upon excuses. They're like, oh, I can't do it. I have, I have this thing going on. Oh, I can't do it. I just, I just can't. You know, I just, I just can't, I just can't do it. You know, I love video games next to, you know, I always love video games. But there could be a time where I probably need to fast. And like I said, if you look at it from when you're a kid getting grounded, you know, you're basically fasting. You're making that sacrifice, which will probably benefit you a whole lot. You know, you're getting time to be able to do something else. And it can be spent in praying. And we even, hey Matthew, in social media, like, how many of us would sit there, love to be on this device, and thinking that we're going to bed, and just spend several hours just going and scrolling on Facebook, or Twitter, or Instagram, and you're sitting there scrolling, be like, oh, I like, yeah. 
Ugh, I'm gonna follow that person. Ooh, this person liked my picture. Oh man. Oh gosh. Yes. 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 Put the phone down. I mean, there's probably even times when you're a kid and you probably got grounded from using this. And that is basic. And that and that's fasting. Like I said, it does not just mean food. There could be something that you're probably spending way too much time in where you may be able to put in and shift your focus to another direction. Like what the 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 first session I went over the right and wrong reasons of fasting. Don't just fast just to starve yourself. There's no real reason to do that. There's not. You know, in the Bible, those stories, everything that we went on and why they fast, they did it for a reason. You know, Jesus did 40 days to set an example for us. Moses did it to be able to write the Ten Commandments that we follow. And there's so many other billion uh, things that I can be going off and we'll be here all day just talking about every story of everybody that's fasting. You know, it's, think about it like if we if we want to shift back to food, right? Let's think about the old days where there's no Chick Fil A, where there's no Taco Bell, there's no Walmart, there's no Dollar General, and you had to hunt for your food. You had to grow your food. You had to farm your food, and you're waiting instead of just going because it's so easy to pull up to you know, especially for lunchtime. It's so easy to pull up to like Chick-fil-A and something like that. And you have that 30 minutes of lunch break. You know, you could probably spend it, you know, catching up with buddies. You know, talking with friends. You know, or just eating. And just, you know, watching YouTube while you eat. Because that's what I usually do. Put all that to the side. Say like, okay, maybe I, maybe I have been watching YouTube much. Maybe I should fast. And like I said, it's through God that helps us to be able to do that. To be able to strengthen our relationship with fear. Like I said, there are so many examples in the Bible. So many. If you, we went like, like we'll be here all day if we, if we do that. But just think about your life. Think about the times that you're spending it. Like, Think about, you know, let's just think about your average day. Now, hopefully y'all listening in. Just think about your average day and think about, like, what you do the most and, like, maybe you want to fast. Like I said, all of us probably have some strong strongholds that is hard to crumble. You know, and uh, probably a lot of us will want to smack that wall down and be able to show the devil who's in boss and who's in charge. Like when Jesus was doing it with the four with the forty days in the desert, he was like, "Nah, just because I can turn rock into bread, I can do this." You know, devil tempted him right then and there, and Jesus could, he could if he wanted to. That's the thing, he could. I mean. I probably would. I'm not gonna lie. If I if like if I was in that situation, I probably would make food. I'm not gonna lie. I probably would make me like a big, huge meal to feast on. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if I was going like I like I said, I can't survive, you know, that long for food. But like I said, even when you're a parent, when you're a child. You know, and you get grounded, you know, from something that you enjoy or, you know, let's say you love outdoors and you got grounded for that. You know, all those times spending outdoors that you can't, you can now spend it in the Word. You know, you got to switch that mindset. And that is what fasting is, and I hope that I was able to explain all this to y'all of what this is. Like, please watch the first episode because it went kind of all over the first place. You 
you know, even in your teens, you know, you get grounded from probably even driving, you know, or hanging out with friends, and you probably want to sneak out. And some teenagers do that. I, I, I didn't. I mean, I don't know how fat I was, but I would probably say I'm too fat to crawl out the window. <laughs> nope. Not gonna happen. Nope. But, um, like, but there's so many, like, if you, like, if you really need help, also, another thing, if you need help in fasting, or if you need help in praying, go find a church, or if, in your, or if, in your, or if you're in a church and you really love that family, your church family, go to them, you know, or your parents, you know, dad and mom, say, so like, hey, you know, I want to be able to do this, and maybe they might ask you, like, if you fast off of food right now, they might even ask you. You know, why are you not eating? And your answer is probably like, the Lord wants me. Your parents may not fully understand. And it could probably lead up to a division in your family. Probably cause some arguments. Because they're probably not going to be able to see the eye to eye, if they, especially if they're not Christians. They might not be able to understand the word fasting. But like I said, fasting is not required. It is not. Fasting does not honor God either. I'm going to say this right now. Wait, I mean, I mean, fasting is only, it's like, it's more like, like, when you, fasting is like, when you silence the Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's not fully honor God. People might take that in a way, because there's people out there that I met that said, Fasting is the way to heaven, which is not. Oh, the same stuff like the way to yeah, that's why I'm trying to go deep into this. So you know, don't you know, don't fast just to starve yourself. There's always reasons to fast. So just really, just really think about it. You know, think of what time are you using the most. And what are you fasting for? What are you fasting from? Take those two questions into heart. Take them. Think about them. Sit on them. Grow your relationship. And that is probably all I have to say. Before I continue, continue to repeat myself. Because I kind of said everything in the first part of the series. Like I said, there is a thing out there. Um, 21 days of praying and fasting. And this might help you. And that is the Danielle fasting. You know, but there's, you know, other fasting as well. If you just Google 21 days. Just 21 days. You know, even on websites, like, look, like, like, this website, right here. And you know what their fast, their definition of fasting is? The goal of fasting is to draw nearer to God. Period. And that is the truth. That is the truth. And, like I said, there's also types of fasting, like, you can always Google this. But I'm here just to help you out to get started. Is what I'm here for, y'all. I may not go all deep and deep just because I might need to research this on a little bit more. Especially the different types of fasting. You know. But make sure that you're also praying. Don't just fast to fast. Make sure that you're praying as well. Like I said, they go hand to hand together. That's why a lot of times when you see fasting is always with and prayer. You know, think of something that, that, you, that you have a hobby and think of something that you really love and then you can sacrifice that time. You know, let's say that you're practicing for a tournament or if you're doing homework. I mean, homework is important. But still, like, if you're able just to take that and just be able just to say, God, I want to come to you. 
I want to be able to take at least five minutes. At least try it, like, try to at least take five minutes from your day. From what you're doing right now. Or even when the service is over with. You know, we're always here to welcome you. You know, and if you if you if you need help with this, we are here for you, whether you're watching it, you know, on Twitch or listening to Discord or listening it on YouTube in the future. God does miracles. God is here for all of us. And it can help you to get closer to God. Yeah. The thing about fasting is like, like, think of it like, like, if your flesh is like, you know, it's like, it's like, there's something that you're struggling with. I mean, like, fasting can be, you know, it doesn't have to be like, you know, food, right? You, you yeah. Can, like, not use your phone for a day. You, you know, not use a computer, or maybe, you know, eat. I mean, literally, Daniel, he fasted for, for, uh, how many days was it? Uh, Danielle, I believe, 10. Yeah, he passed for 10 days without eating anything. Yeah, I went over all of that. That's why I was sitting here trying to explain it to people, you know, and help them. Like, like I said, there is different types of fasting. There is all kinds of stuff. But I'm basically going into it where it could be really understandable that maybe people that needs to do this. Because God does want all of us to be able to grow closer to Him. He want he, we he wants our relationship with Him. Whatever season, whatever season that we're going through, he won't. He, he God still is there for us, no matter how far we walk away from him. God is still there for us. Now, like yes, it might it, it might be incredibly, extremely difficult to be able to pull up that sacrifice. You know, it it can be really difficult, and you might be like in a video game. Maybe there's just like a shortcut. I'm sorry, fasting is not a shortcut. If you think about it in in that way, it's it's not. Fasting is not the easiest thing to do. Like if I start fasting off of caffeine, like we went over coffee and caffeine. Like if I start doing that, I'm gonna be struggling. But if you actually, you know, like I said, if you try to humble yourself, set that mindset. You know, switch switch gears, and then fast. And sometimes don't let people get in the way of your fast, and don't let um don't let them you know come in to be like let they can be involved in it, which is why I'm trying to explain this. But if they're like trying to not help you fast then that that person is, is is you should probably not talk to that person for a little bit like Jesus died for us on the cross and we can be able to take like five minutes of our time of our day just to spend with him be like Lord I want to grow my relationship with you I want to be a to be, I want to be able to communicate with you better. I want to be able to grow in you spiritually. Because I have seen you do amazing things. And maybe you're praying throughout this week. And start praying. And maybe you're just trying to set up a game plan. Or the, or the week plan. Or the daily plan. Be like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Make sure that I fat, you know. Make sure that I'm putting in this, you know. Like, if you can squeeze time for work and school, and if you're trying to squeeze time for fee games, that means you can squeeze time to be able to be with God. You can squeeze it. So I encourage you, if, you, if, the, if this is something that you really need to do, then maybe this is a starting point for you. Like I said, this is not 
this is not an easy task to fulfill. But if you really try to disciple yourself, train yourself, better yourself, then you can be able to get over that obstacle. You can be able yeah, to do like, it. Like the flash, you know, is, you know, very, very, you know, you know, like, very, very, but, like, think of the flesh like, in a way, like, you know, flesh is like a virus. The only way to get rid of the virus is with the antivirus, a.k.a. the word of God. Okay. Yeah, I hate viruses. Remember Scooby Doo in the cyber chase? Viruses is what makes the computer go slow. Viruses in our case is what makes us fall. Yep. We, we, Jude even enters the pistol like, Now may the one who is able to keep you from stumbling, which is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is, that is true. That is, that is true. But like I said, don't try to look for shortcuts. Don't try to look for an easy way out when you're fasting. Do not try to do that. Because you're not really fasting. You're making sure that you can still get that caffeine. Saying like, if I take this shortcut right now, I could probably still do this. I could see it. Because I will still be in first place. Like when you're playing Mario Kart, there's a shortcut. You know, and usually you take that shortcut to be able to get to the finish line. But fasting makes us go to long route. Why? To train us. To properly equip us. So like I said, if you need to start doing this, start doing it. And if you need help for anyone that's listening, I'm here to help you out. If you need accountability, buddy, I'm here for you. Because I would love to see you go in that deep relationship with God. And be like, God, I'm not going to let this devil win. I'm not going to let this devil to triumph me. Because with God, with the armor of God, you are going to win that battle. You're going to win that war. You're going to be victorious. And if you want to achieve that victory, go watch this sermon that I did on how to achieve the victory. Like I said, there's, like, fasting is difficult. But as long as you train yourself. And, and and if you do one slip up, don't stop. Keep on going. Don't go, well, I slip. I don't think I can ever do it again. Well, well, I I, I, did, I, I shouldn't have done that. I mean, I, tr I tried fasting. But uh, this this one day, I had to drink some caffeine. I had to drink this Dr. Pepper. I mean, I went like maybe a day without it. And I, I, I got tempted. I saw that machine. With Dr. Pepper in it, and I was like, oh boy. I'm gonna be like, and then, and then probably in your mind, you probably wanna stop right then and there. And be like, I can't do this. But you know what God's Word said that I can do everything which God gives me strength to do it? Philippians 4.13. So take this time, if you need it, or if you want to contact me or come in the Discord server, you are welcome. You are always welcome to be here in the New Light Ministry. We always welcome you. Alright, so is there any questions, comments, or concerns? For people on the Twitch chat, um, are in, are in the FISA. Is there any questions, comments, or concerns on praying and fasting? Anything? 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 Anything. Nobody? No questions? No comments? Nothing? 
Y'all, y'all cool with this? Y'all cool with this? Well, I want to read a first to you. If you don't mind me, uh, you know, I'm saying much. So, Philippians 4, 11 to 13. Yes, I'm actually reading the first. Oh my gosh, yes I am. <laughs> um, it says, I'm not saying this because I'm in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what is to do to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well feed. Uh, wait, I can do all who gives me, who gives me strength. Literally, Philippians four eleven to thirteen. Whatever circumstances, he has you. He even says stuff about worry. Do not worry. So try to shift that mindset. Be a godly man and woman. Be the be the man or woman that God wants you to be. Don't let anybody else dictate of who or what you cannot be. That's what I want to say. So, any any questions or comments or concerns? If nothing, then we can go in prior and um, in the second part of the series. Um, there will be a third part. I don't know about fourth part. Um, but um, this is to encourage you to fast. Um, and make sure to watch the first um, episode because I did kind of repeat some things. But I do feel like it's kind of necessary to an extent. And basically to expand it. Um, so make sure you go and check the first part. Um, the third part will be kind of just questions and answers. So um, kind of just going over like if you have any questions. Or if you need help. Um, that's what the third part, that's what next week is going to be for. So if you need that, I challenge you to come there. Or if you want to start now, if you if you do not want to wait for that week, you can start now. So anyway, let's go to the Lord and pray. Dear Holy Gracious Father, Lord, I come to your throne, Lord. Lord, if there is something that we are really struggling with, help us to tear that one down that wall. That we can be able to practice and train ourselves to not fall into that sinful thing. That we can be able to be better, to be able to grow. Lord, help us to be able to do that. And help us to understand that fasting doesn't just mean food. That means that we can fast from electronics, we can fast from other things. Help us to be able to understand that, Lord, and to be able to use it and to be able to grow that relationship. We don't want we don't want to have a small relationship with you. We want to be able to have a deep relationship with you. We want to be able to grow in you, to mature in you, to be able to carry out your will that you have for all of us. That is what we want to do, Lord. Help us to help us be able to put on that armor of God and say and say no to the devil. Tell him to back off. Tell him that he can take several freaking steps back. Or tell him that you're not welcome here. Like, yes, you'll be tempted. Yes, this is not going to be easy for people, Lord. But you can help the people who are struggling. He even said in your own word, "You, uh, there's no temptation that can really bear us or overwhelm us. We always have that, that thing that will be able to carry us over because of your word, Lord. So help us to continue that out. And for anybody, Lord, that is struggling with this or really need to start fasting and praying, 
Help them to do that, Lord. Encourage them and lift them up, Lord. Train them to be your disciple, Lord. Because I believe that we all could fast from something. And that we want to spend more time with you. We love you, Lord, with everything that we got. And we want to be able to cherish that love for you. And be able to spread the good news. Be able to take some time out of our day. Just at least five or ten or thirty minutes even. That's probably even a bit better. Just to be able to pray. To be able to study. And hopefully we don't just take this as something that we got to do every day. Help us to be able to understand we don't get to do, we don't have to do this. But we choose to do this. Help us to be able to get into that mindset. That we choose to do this. And that we don't have to do this. That we choose to do this. Because we love you. And we'll be able to want to grow that relationship. Not just doing it just because we have to. Like it's agenda. Like we always have to. But help us to do it out of love. So Lord, for anybody that's listening, I hope that you'll be able to help them and encourage them more. And I do all this holy grace name. Amen and amen. Well, that is the second part of the series. If you want to come to the third part... Well, you're going to have to wait for a week. <laughs> um, we um, we do have, um, I'm going to pull up the uh, announcements again before, um, because I feel like I need to show the announcements again. Uh, not my screen. Uh, not that either. That's the wrong... Very professional here. Um, TNL announcements. Okay, here we go. Um, so um, don't forget that we do have our movie nights, and it's a change. So please do not forget that it's at seven p.m. Please, oh please, do not forget that. And don't think if you think the movie's starting at six, I am not going to be there. I will not be there. I will not be there. So, um, and you're always welcome to join in TNL to staff if you if you choose to do so. We are always looking for staff, so keep that in mind. Small group. If you have been listening to this prayer and fasting, and maybe you want like a small group family to be there for you to help you out, well, this is for you. We do it Tuesdays at 9 p.m. So please don't come on. The podcast has changed. It'll be the same time, a different day. So. Just let you know, I will be streaming podcasts Tuesday. I'll be streaming two podcasts this week, actually. Um, to let know that we're shifting it to Friday. So keep that in mind for these for these new time changes. We're gonna. I'm seeing these time changes is also gonna benefit me, but also see if y'all are willing to come out as well. And don't forget the new reunify. Um. These are very short streams, basically kind of like when you read the devotion and praying, and if you want to connect with God, taking that 30 minutes, like I've been saying, that 30 minutes or 5, 10 minutes, come on down. We will be doing it Monday through Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if that is something that can help you with your fasting and maybe help you to be able to reunify, to be able to reconnect with God and be that. And then fasting and praying, which we're still going to be going, we only, I believe we only have one part left, which is basically questions and answers. If anybody has anything, or if anybody wants to add anything that I have not said. Because I do need to research a little bit more before being able to um, provide the advice to be able to provide this. But I'm basically giving you the bread and butter of fasting and praying, so you'll be able to know it. And make sure to watch the first part so you can be able to understand the definition of fasting. Because this is basically helping you to start fasting. It's basically what this part two was. It's trying to help you to be able to guide you. 
The first part, however, is just the definition of fasting and kind of going into what fasting is and why does prayer come with fasting. So if you want, like I said, you're welcome to join watching that. I just want to make sure that I go with y'all with that before the end of the stream um, to make sure that um, if you um, if you want to or not. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, we're um, welcome. You're welcome to join in with the after party, after math, after after party or I don't know what I'm saying. Um, and the feast day. So y'all are we're gonna be hanging out. Um, if people want to hang out, but if people got to go, then people got to go. But um, I will see y'all next week with the next sermon. All right. All right. I will see y'all then.